think ahead to a world after this pandemic, we've all talked about the changes we might see. That's particularly true when it comes to food. You guys have talked about this at home, I'm sure. Buffets, dinner parties, sharing plates. There's so much that we used to do that just seems kind of, I don't know, weird now. So what does the future hold for shareable food? We invited our favorite futurist, Nicholas Badminton, to share his thoughts. Hey, nice to see you. Good morning. Good morning. So first, let's talk about how our eating habits have changed over the last year and a half. Yeah, so we, we, we've definitely seen a, a change from rushing out to the restaurants or even casually walking to a local takeaway to uh, to home meal, meal kits, which is a market that, that's booming half a billion dollars in size just in Canada alone. Uh, we're home preparing our meals a lot. Uh, and who at this point isn't sick to death of cooking three to four times a day? <laughs> uh, and, and what's really interesting is we're getting more takeout. And in Canada, that's going to be a $98 billion industry by 2027. So all of this has sort of caused some cultural shifts in the way that we uh, consume food. What about sharing plates like, like nachos or dips? Is that a thing of the past, do you think? I, I think we're going to be more discerning about what we eat. So so things like nachos and dips might might fall to the wayside, not not because of culturally um, we don't want to sit together to eat together, but culturally we don't want to eat food that isn't necessarily that great for us. I mean, for, for tens of thousands of years, humans have come together in civilization to eat together. It's an incredibly important part of the family. And I think that we're going to see a recovery of that. And I think that coming up with the winter season, I think we're going to see a lot of home home dinner parties actually starting to boom as well. What about, okay, I have to ask you about buffets. Is that done? Yeah, well, it's interesting. If you go down to somewhere like uh, Las Vegas or resorts, you can right. see that um, it, they've got cafeteria style sort of serving where people give you the food. But it's kind of embarrassing to take to ask for 25 <laughs> pieces of bacon. So I think the buffets <laughs> are going to come back, right? I, I think that it's, it's going to take a while. And uh, I think that people that love buffets are going to go back but I think that a lot of us are going to consider that not to be very good. So my sister lives in Las Vegas. Um, Nick and team is saying that what they are doing now with like their, their brunches or whatever, everything's packaged. So when you get to right. the buffet stations, everyone, everything, you take like your personal one to put on your, your tray, I guess, is how they're functioning right now. So one area that blew up during the pandemic was food pickup services. We talk about that in drive throughs How have restaurants kept up with that demand? And is that trend going to change, do you think? You know what, curbside uh, happened overnight for many businesses, including restaurants. And uh, what's interesting is hundreds of millions of dollars are being invested uh, in, in drive throughs as well. So uh, mobile pre-ordered lanes, and, and you're going to see four or five lanes deep of, of people getting through drive-ins. A lot of businesses have made a huge amount of money at this time. And quick service restaurants, I mean, we may not even go wandering into any of them in the future. Mm. And we might even have walkthroughs as well as drive throughs And at the end of the day, isn't this all just about convenience at this point? Yeah, we absolutely is about convenience. I mean, home delivery is going to be booming. I mean, Wendy's is opening hundreds of uh, kitchens that just serve that that kind of thing. We, we just want to pick up an app and order food mm -hmm. in, in many cases and home, home meal kits and all of these things. It's, it's caused a cultural shift that maybe would have taken a, a couple of decades um, in about 18 months. So I do think that we've seen that cultural shift sort of take hold. Mm -hmm. But I think people are still going to want to go to those restaurants that are going to serve us with amazing, delicious produce and, and meals that bring us all together again once it's safe to do so. All right, Nicholas, always good to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you so much.